Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a switch statement in Python. If you want to learn how to code, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on future tutorials. So in case you don't know what a switch statement does, it's like an if-else statement that acts on one single variable and its outcome depends on that. So Python doesn't actually have that, but we can make our own using dictionaries, so let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm just here in a new Python file. Let's start coding. So define... We're just going to create a function, and it's going to have one argument just called argument. This is where we create our dictionary that we will be using. I will explain this once I finish typing out. First option. Second op option. Third option. And then return switcher.get, then argument and default. And finally, let's print out my function and pass in one. So if we run this now, we can see we get a second option. So let's go through what we're doing here. Firstly, we've just got this function called my function. It takes in one argument. It can be called whatever you want. So we have a dictionary here. It can have any number of key value pairs as you like. I've just got three here, for example. Now what we're doing here is we're getting the item of the dictionary, which is argument, and then we're returning it. When we're calling my func and passing in number one here, what we're doing is return switcher.get. We're going to get the value of the first key, so we're going to get second option, because we're going to get number one, second option. And also, say let's just test it out with two, we'll get third option because two is third option. And say we put in like six, we'd get default. So if we pass in a number that isn't here, it'll automatically redirect to whatever's in here. So it could be like ABC. And if we run it again, we'd get ABC because 6 isn't anywhere here. Now we can take this further using functions. So instead of just returning a string and printing it out, we could call some functions depending on what argument it is. So we can just create some dummy functions here. So now what we can do is we can replace these strings right here with function objects. So in here we can have dummy func. You can also have dummy func2. If you don't understand what we're doing here, I recommend you go and watch my video on first class functions. So go and watch that and come back here once you've seen that. And now down here we can assign the output to a variable just called output. And let's just call it my func and pass in zero. And then let's print output. And if we run it, we can see we get this function object. Instead of printing it out now, let's actually call output, which is equal to dummy func. So if we run it, we get I am a dummy function. Let's just recap what we've done here. So we've got function called my func. It's taking one parameter, just called argument. We've got a dictionary here with different key value pairs called switcher. Then we're returning the, a value from this dictionary that is linked to a key. If argument is equal to zero, then we'll return dummy func. If it's equal to one, we'll get dummy func two. And if it's equal to two, we'll get a string back that says third option. And if it's not equal to any of those, we will get the ABC right here. So output's now equal to dummy func. And then we're just calling dummy func. And that is why we get... I am a dummy function because we are calling dummy func up here. Now if you'd like to be taken to another one of my videos, you can click on these cards here. Anyway, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.